everyone. I hope you've had a really good day so far. Today we're going to do an Easter activity um, using some salt dough. So I've made some salt dough already and I've got the recipe here for you guys. So the recipe for you is two cups of flour, one cup of salt and one cup of water. Um, you need to mix it all together until it's nicely bound and then you can have some fun. So I've prepared everything below. Um, have a look and enjoy. Okay, so I made some salt dough over here. I had gluten-free flour at home, so I had to use gluten-free flour, salt and water. And I've made it into this consistency, you can see it's quite hard. So what we need to do is we need to can take a little piece off and roll it into a ball. The gluten-free dough is quite flaky, um, where the, the normal flour will, will be absolutely fine. Okay, maybe a little bit more. And you can make it any thickness you want. And then I'm going to take my glass, I'm going to push it down carefully. If you've got a cookie cutter, you could use a cookie cutter as well. And then I'm just going to move this to the side, so I have this circle now. Okay. And I'm just going to manipulate the circle until it looks a little bit more like the shape of an egg. Okay, so I think that's okay. Okay, so we have that over there. And then you can make as many as you want. I'm just going to make two just to show you how it goes. Okay, so I need to roll this one again and you can use your rolling pin and then push it flat. Okay, so now I've got another circle and I'm gonna manipulate it and shape it into the shape of an egg again. Okay, so now we have two. See over there, we've got two, two nice egg shapes. Now what we need to do is we need to take a pin, okay, and we need to poke little holes in it so that when it goes into the oven, it doesn't swell up, it stays nice and flat. Okay, so we're just poking all of it to get the air out of the dough. So once you've done your little pokes, all over, lots and tiny little pokes, just a few on the sides, okay then you can take your baking tray over here, okay so I've got my baking tray and I put them into my baking tray And then we can put it in the oven at 180 degrees and it will usually take about 15 minutes maximum, maybe 20 minutes. And then when you take them out, they'll be really nice and hard. Okay, so we're going to pretend that we've put them into the oven already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ones that I've made and they will be quite hard. Okay. And I'm going to lay them down here. So these are the ones that I've pretended to do already. So then we're going to decorate them. Okay. So because I don't have any children at home, I don't have paints at home, so I had to make my own paint today. So what I did was I mixed a little bit of mixed a little bit of paprika. Okay, which has got a nice red colour, with a little bit of flour and water. So we'll give this a nice mix up and you can see it's quite a nice consistency. But for those of you who have paint at home, you can just use paint. I've just used this to demonstrate what the paint would be like. Okay. So I've got nice ready orange colour there. And then I did the same thing with flour, water, and I added some turmeric. Okay, because turmeric has got a lovely nice yellowy colour. So we're just going to mix this up here like this. 
mix it all up. And we're going to use these as our paints, okay? But like I said, at home, you can use the paints that you are using at home. Okay, so just clean my hands. So now, we've got our two colors of paints over here. I'm going to put them here. And we're going to use a toothpick. And we are going to take a little bit of yellow and... I'm going to do some dots, poke some dots into my east egg, and you can do any pattern and design you want. Okay, you can see I'm doing some dots over there, some different colored dots. Okay, so I've got some yellow dots onto that one. Okay, and then I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to do some orange dots on them okay then if you've got some glitter and sprinkles at home you can put some glitter on you can use different colored paints if you wanted to okay and then we let it dry and then you can do loads of different patterns so this one I'm gonna do A nice line the paint will spread on a lot easier it's just because this is quite thick that it's a bit different so you could use purple you could use pink you could use green any color you wanted um, and then you could even use a little earbud as a paintbrush and you could paint these pieces yellow and what it's going to do is it's going to stay on the, the paint will stay on the, the mixture the salto because it's already cooked so it'll be like painting on on paper and then You've got two really, really cute little eggs. Okay. Okay, so that's a really fun exercise to do at home. Um, it's really easy and simple. And you can decorate them in whatever pattern you like with whatever colors you like. So I hope you have fun doing it. Bye.